three hours in press, they did with a train This is the basis of national here. In the data of the act, how much share to the 2021 accomplishments to be delivered by regional director Marie Angela S. Gopalan. I stand before you to recount and account what we, as a unified field office, have done this year. 
I wish to convey our accomplishment achieved to a large extent to the DSWD men and women that were determined and committed to report for work daily despite personal struggles and environmental challenges. I wish to thank especially the lead movers, Assistant Regional Director for Operations, Marlene Tevez Peralta, <laughs> together with her team, Division Chief Marisal Paleha, <laughs> Division Chief Helen Narona, <laughs> Division Chief Virginia Sese, <laughs> Division, Division Chief Roslyn Descaliar, <laughs> then we have the team of Assistant Regional Director for Administration, Annelie Ferrer, together with Division Chief Crisanto Mortera, <laughs> Division Chief Clardel Manzuela, <laughs> and last but not least, Division Chief Melasio Ubinas. <laughs> I also wish to acknowledge, of course, our resolute partners in government service, the various regional line agencies, the local government units, and of course, the local social welfare development offices, as well as various social welfare and development agencies, and including those in the media. The department envisions that all Filipinos are free from hunger and poverty, that each one has equal access to opportunities enabled by a just and peaceful society. Our mission is directed at improving social protection so that we are able to effectively contribute to the reduction of poverty. It is among the main causes of the many risks and vulnerabilities that we as a government agency, together with the private sector, are fighting to eradicate. The DSWD strategic focus until 2028 is to increase capacity of LGUs to improve the delivery of social protection and social welfare services. It is also to improve the well-being of beneficiaries of the Pantawid Family households through strengthened social welfare system. In being guided by this strategic focus, we are also keenly trying to improve the manner in which we are dealing with these following areas. Our clientele, we mitigate or at least help mitigate the social economic impact of COVID-19 and other natural disasters and human-induced hazards. Capacity, increase the ability of LGUs, our partners, including the department, to improve the delivery of social protection and social welfare services in response to the pandemic and in preparation for the full implementation of the Mandana's ruling. Compliance. We try to sharpen our standards, our appreciation of how to continuously comply with social welfare development standards and regulations. Continuity. We need to improve in organizational processes, our technological capacity and readiness to adapt in the new normal and the frequent and dynamic changes in the environment. We also focus on our credibility. We need to promote an informed and evidence-based decision-making through active utilization of credible and reliable information. <laughs> Care. We focus on capacity building and occupational health and safety of our workers. All of these are our specific focus brought on by the pandemic until 2023. It is hoped that by being guided by this, we are able to faithfully execute our mandate 
and using the resources that the government has invested to us. So, what a journey it has been, 2021, and given that backdrop of what we hope to achieve, um, panoorin po natin ang mga nagawa ng kagawaran sa panahong 2021. constituents from the four provinces in the 123 local government units with a total of 3,265 barangays. DSW regular programs and services are brought to the communities by the 1,312 angels in Red Vest, who caters to approximately 680,000 clientele. For this year, our accomplishments are summarized based on its six strategic priorities. The alternative parental care through adoption and fostering was facilitated to ensure their well-being. We have accounted 20 adopted children matched to their adoptive families and three children cleared for entry country adoption. Meanwhile, a total of 54 eligible children are placed under foster care provided with subsidy and four regular foster parents issued with license. Further, to protect your welfare, 477 clearances for minors who travel abroad were issued. The agency's supplemental feeding program ensures that proper nutrition is given to 98,670 acre children with the help of the child development workers and primary health workers. We're also catering to two centers, even for children and home for girls. The residential care facilities provide opportunity for the residents to be adequately cared for temporarily under a controlled therapeutic environment with the end view of reunion or reintegration with your family and the community to lead a normal life. The Regional Rehabilitation Center for Youth provides institutional rehabilitation to 134 children in conflict with the law. These residents undergo various lectures, workshops, recollection, and other youth development activities being implemented with partner agencies, the equity, and non-government organizations. Relative to the conduct of the immersion outreach program in Ilocos region, a total of eight youth participants successfully completed the program, which aims to instill a sense of volunteerism and community service to the less privileged youth of the society. Women are considered as one of the vulnerable sectors in the communities. With this, the Haven for Women sustained and strengthened its engagement with various stakeholders and partners in the provision of services to 54 women victim survivors who regularly undergo healing and recovery activities. The ABRC1 provided rehabilitation programs and services to 153 persons with disabilities and their qualified dependents to be contributing and productive members of the society. Aside from that, 189 PWDs were provided with financial assistance for food subsidy, assistive devices, and other related needs. The Social Pension Program for Indigenous Senior Citizens provided its menstrual stipend of 3,000 pesos to 191,374 social pensioners as an augmentation to their daily subsistence and medical needs. Further, a total of 190 centenarians received cash grants amounting to 100,000 each. Aside from this, the field office is honored to announce that out of our 11 entries to the Sampu Malinang Nakatatan 2021, four senior citizens from the region are recognized as national awardees. The Pantor Pamela Filipino Program has been continuously staging Pantor Pamela Graduation Ceremony since April 2021 to recognize the 1,285 Pantor Pamela Household Beneficiaries graduating from the program because of their self-sufficient level of well-being. As of late December 2021, 
They are 84 out of the 125 local government units that we wholeheartedly supported the conduct of the graduation ceremony. This year, a total of 38 communal gardens participated in the regional search for model bio-intensive garden caring to enhance resources. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat sa patuloy ninyong suporta. Huwag po tayo magsasawa, ika nga ni Pastor, sa pagbibigay ng maagap, mapagkalinga at may malasakit na servisyo. And bring it on 2022. So, with that, I wish you all maligayang Pasko at maligong bagong taon. Diyos tiagnina, kada kayo ani. Pagpalaan na ba kayo ng may kapal? See you next year. We both are being committed to serve our disaster-affected families through our disaster response management. Salute all our IMT and volunteers in ensuring the provision of more than 180,000 food and non-food items, ready to augment all LGUs since we are considered as a hub for augmentation. Ladies and gentlemen, we just have heard the state of the DSWD Region 1's address. DSWD takes pride in its commitment in the continuous delivery of social services through MAGA and Bapangkalingan Servisyo ng buong puso at malasang. Mabuhay ang DSWD Field Office 1. May we request our Gala to stay at the center to receive the bouquet of appreciation as a symbol of our gratitude for your untiring leadership here at the DSWD Field Office Walk. Thank you very much, our Gala. Muli, mabuhay ang Once again, good morning to each and everyone and welcome now to the LTU Awards this morning. And 2021 has been a whirlwind, of course, but with a strong support and partnership with the local government units and uh, challenges were overcome and of course with flying colors. At this juncture, uh, the spotlight is directed to our ever-supportive LGUs as we award them with the certificates of appreciation for the remarkable implementation of the social amelioration program. Ladies and gentlemen, this is LTU Awards. A certificate of recognition is awarded to the 125 local government units for the entire efforts initiatives and contributions in the implementation of the social and motivation program as an intensified government response to push to curtail the impacts of the pandemic in the lives of the Filipino people, especially those belonging in the low-income households. For today, we are going to, uh, to award uh, 125 LGUs and uh, Sir Sam, please read the citation. Yes, allow me to read the citation. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Social Welfare and Development, Certificate of Appreciation is presented to for a meaningful, part meaningful and purposeful partnership forged during the COVID-19 pandemic, where the welfare of the most vulnerable is promoted and protected through the joint implementation of the social evaluation program. 
given the 17th day of December in the year of our Lord, 2021, at the Diaz Stability Field Office 1, City of San Fernando. Signed, Rolando Fusterito D. Bautista, Secretary. So now, we are going to start with the province of Ilocos Norte. The Certificate of Recognition is awarded to the Municipal Government of Adams. The Municipal Government of Babala. The Municipal Government of Bado. The Municipal Government of Bangui. The Municipal Government of Banna. The City Government of Batak. The Municipal Government of Burgos. The Municipal Government of Karasi. The Municipal Government of Kurimao. The Municipal Government of Dingras. The Municipal Government of Dumalne. The City Government of Dawa. The Municipal Government of Marcos. The Municipal Government of Nueva Era. The Municipal Government of Pagulpud. The Municipal Government of Pauay. The Municipal Government of Pasuki. The Municipal Government of Piti. The Municipal Government of Pinili. The Municipal Government of Sanigulas. The Municipal Government of Sarat. The Municipal Government of Solsona. And lastly, no, the Municipal Government of Vintar. So that ends our um, uh, awardees for the province of Ilocos Norte. And uh, before we move on uh, to our um, awardees for the provinces of Ilocos Sur, of course, we'd like to thank our regional events committee headed by uh, ARD for administration, Anani Ferrer. Congratulations, Congratulations ma'am. And of course, our uh, secretariat, Sir Darwin Chan, for this very fabulous stage and book. Um, just want to uh, uh, say no, describe no, ito ating pong, uh, theme for this morning, of course, we chose continuity of life. Um, kasi, of course, no, uh, for the past uh, two years that uh, we have been experiencing pandemic, kailangan kailangan talaga natin mag uh, patuloy no sa agos ng buhay and this uh, design symbolizes no ito po ang ating uh, pagpapatuloy uh, sa ating buhay and sir Sam ang ating mga sunflower yes and it also symbolizes hope as well and of course meron po tayong mga sunflowers dito and na uh, dito rin po nagaling kung bakit po green and yellow po ang ating mga kasuotan po ngayon na hinihingi po ang bawat isa dahil sa mga tulad na ito. As we also remember our former Secretary Corazon Binky Sulaiman at siya po ang nagpakita sa atin ng mga magagandang hindi na ating pagbati ay sunflower pieces. Kaya ito din po ay uh, pag-alala natin sa kanya. 
Bira po ang ating pong asetretary ng mahabang-habang panahon. And hindi natin makalimutan ang kanyang legacy. So that is why we are also celebrating here in our Sodra, at our Sodra and our LGO Awards the celebration of life of our former secretary. Yes, okay. now we now go to our award of Mario Pro. The Municipal Government of Bantay. The Municipal Government of Burgos. The Municipal Government of Cabuga. The City Government of Pandon. The Municipal Government of Kawayan. The Municipal Government of Cervantes. The Municipal Government of Galimuyo. The Municipal Government of Gregorio del Pilar. The Municipal Government of Didida. The Municipal Government of Magsinga. The Municipal Government of Nagbuke. The Municipal Government of Marbacan. The Municipal Government of Quirino. The Municipal Government of Salcedo. The Municipal Government of San Emilio. The Municipal Government of San Esteban. The Municipal Government of San Ildefonso. The Municipal Government of San Juan. The Municipal Government of San Vicente. The Municipal Government of Santa. The Municipal Government of Santa Catalina. The Municipal Government of Santa Cruz. The Municipal Government of Santa Lucia. The Municipal Government of Santa Maria. The Municipal Government of Santiago. The Municipal Government of Santo Domingo. The Municipal Government of Siga. The Municipal Government of Sinai. The Municipal Government of Supon. The Municipal Government of Suyo. The Municipal Government of Tagdin. And the City Government of Vega. And now we will move on to the province of Ago. The Municipal Government of Aringay. The Municipal Government of Bagnotan. The Municipal Government of Bagoli. The Municipal Government of Balawan. The Municipal Government of Bangar. The Municipal Government of Bawang. The Municipal Government of Burgos. The Municipal Government of Kaba. The City Government of San Fernando. The Municipal Government of Luna. The Municipal Government of Aguilian. The Municipal Government of Pugo. The Municipal Government of Rosario. The Municipal Government of San Gabriel. The Municipal Government of San Juan. The Municipal Government of Santol. 
the municipal government of Santo Tomas. The municipal government of Sudipe. And the municipal government of Tubao. And now we move on to our last province, the province of Pangasinan. Starting off with the municipal government of Agno. The municipal government of Aguilar. The, the city government of Alaminos. The municipal government of Alcala. The municipal government of Anda. The municipal government of Asingan. The municipal government of Balumba. The municipal government of Bani. The municipal government of Basista. The municipal government of Bautista. The municipal government of Bayambang. The municipal government of Pitalona. Municipal government of Binmale. The municipal government of Bolina. The municipal government of Bugalion. The municipal government of Burgos. The municipal government of Talashao. The city government of Tagupan. The municipal government of the Sol. The city government of Infanta. The municipal government of Labrador. The city government of Lawa. The municipal government of Lawa. The municipal government of Ligaye. The municipal government of Mabini. The municipal government of Malasiki. The municipal government of Manawa. The municipal government of Mangaldan. The municipal government of Mangatara. The municipal government of Mapandan. The municipal government of Natividad. The municipal government of Pasorubio. The municipal government of Rosales. The city government of San Carlos. The municipal government of San Fabian. The municipal government of San Jacinto. The municipal government of San Manuel. The municipal government of San Nicolas. The municipal government of San Quinti. The municipal government of Ciso. The municipal government of Santa Barbara. The municipal government of Santa Maria. The municipal government of Santo Tomas. The municipal government of Suwa. The municipal government of Tayug. The municipal government of Uninga. The municipal government of Urbistondo. The city government of Urdaneta. And the municipal, the, and the municipal government of Villasi. So that ends our uh, social protection programs and services. 
did not falter and completed the SDA despite the challenges brought by the pandemic. So this also intensified the uh, coordination and collaboration with the LGU, resulted, of course, with the advent of social welfare and development field office one, Quezon Avenue, City of San Fernando, La Union, um, awards the certificates of appreciation to the following local social uh, welfare and development offices for completing the service delivery assessment or the SDA, which has helped the department in formulating effective strategies to strengthen the implementation of social welfare programs and services. Of course, given the 17th day of December, the year of our Lord, 2021, at the Pandipunan Hall of the Department of Social Welfare and Development Field Office 1, City of San Fernando, La Union. Signed, Marie Angela S. Lapalan, Regional Director. Ladies and gentlemen, the here are our awardees. Starting off in the province of Ilocos Norte, the municipal government of Bangui. MSWDO Banana. MSWDO Burgos. WDO Dumalneg CSWDO Lawak MSWDO Marcos MSWDO Pagudpud MSWDO Pasuki MSWDO San Nicolas In Lomas Norte, MSWDO Vintar. MSWDO Bantay. MSWDO Burgos. MSWDO Kawayan. MSWDO Dalimuyon. MSWDO Gregorio Del Pilar. MSWDO Didlita MSWDO Nagbuket MSWDO Narbapan MSWDO Quirino MSWDO Salcedo MSWDO San Emilio MSWDO San Esteban MSWDO San Juan MSWDO San Vicente MSWDO Santa MSWDO Sigal MSWDO Santa Maria MSWDO Santa Catalina MSWDO Santa Lucia MSWDO Santo Domingo And last but not least for the province of the Lomas Tour, CSWDO Viga MSWDO Aringa MSWDO Pagnota MSWDO Burgos MSWDO Kaba and MSWDO Rosario. Now for the province of Pangasinan, starting off with the CSWDO Alaminos. MSWDO Balungal. MSWDO Bautista. MSWDO Labrador. MSWDO Lingayen MSWDO 
WBO mga siki. NSWDO mga tagal. NSWDO na dividad. NSWDO Rosales. NSWDO ay CSWDO San Carlos. NSWDO San Fabian. MSWDO San Manuel MSWDO San Nicolás MSWDO San Quintin MSWDO Season MSWDO Santa Barbara MSWDO Tayug CSWDO Urdaneta and MSWDO Villa 6. You are our lifetime partners in providing maagap at pagkalinang servisyo to our constituents. Mabuhay ang mga LGU at ang buong kagawaran. So this has been your host, yan po, Sir Jason Ryan, your Patoy Pamilang Information Officer, and of course, I'm Isa Sassy Pardo Flores, your Kalaisi Social Marketing Officer, at uh, nagiiwan po na isang magandang araw sa inyo lahat, at maraming maraming salamat po. And dedication while undergoing the Immersion Outreach Program, CY 2021, given this 10th day of December, in the year of our Lord 2021. So, signed by our regional director, Marie Angela S. Mapalan. So, una po na dito ay si Jasper P. Lana. Alright, Jasper, congratulations. Okay, ready? One, two, we also have our uh, IOP computer, Judy and M. E. Mamawa. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, so let me also present the Certificate of Recognition. Uh, is awarded to Bawang La Union for being the department's partner in the implementation of the Immersion Outreach Program CY 2021. Given this 10th uh, day at the yung ending, kaya 10th po yung nilagay natin, in the year of our Lord 2021, signed by our Regional Director, Marie Angela Escobala. So this, uh, our LGU Bawang is represented by our LYPO. Okay, ready? One, two, three. And again, congratulations.